All right, this is Cricket, 05 Chevy Cobalt. Damage right there. Okay, now it's been washed. Scrubbed down a little bit. Now it's all about getting the door jams clean, getting the car clean, get to look back. See Christina's special brew, a whipped up concoction of six different things that work really well. So we buffed one round, get the body showing us what it really looks like. A little bit of body putty to repair the cracked bumper and when it's sanded and sculpted down. Tape the car off. Stripe it out the way it looks good for you. And there you go. Cobalt continued. The uh, front control arms are blow bushings in them. There's the driver one we've already replaced. Bushings blow apart so the wheel moves around in its little chamber. Went to the junkyard, got a good set. How to change the lower control arm on a 2005 Chevy Cobalt passenger side. We're using a used part today. Better than broken. Here we go. Step Back one. It up, take the wheel off, get to where you can Here's see what the you're control doing. arm part. You got a bolt right here, which is right here. You got two bolts right here, which are on the frame right there and right there. And then you got this bolt right here is that big bolt right here that just come out from right there up under so 13 16 so that one's out now we're going to take those two out which are 16s you know join it with an extension and an impact here we go bottom ball joint is coming out. And there it is. And it's done. Out with the old. In with the uh, junkyard now. Yeah, there you go. And you can do it all with your nuts in your hand. Just saying. Get the windshield logo on. That. It's done. Gonna go ahead and tint the headlights. Okay, I've hit them with one layer of the Rust Oleum Peel Coat Lens Tinting. You get a can of it for eight bucks at AutoZone, six bucks at Walmart. And that is one round, just sprayed like clear coat, 